Hello and welcome to Torrent Buckle Tea Talk. You're joined by me, John Duggan, and we're joined by this guy, the KC. How you doing, mate? Is that my introduction? <laughs> what do you want from there? I always bring up some Scottish heritage of yours, um, and as okay. get KC. <laughs> the Find KC. That that. Um, okay. The pod, the podcast ninja, who's also very ginger. Well, you want me to write him? You know, we'll just, whatever, just better effort at him, KC. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my good friend, he collects foam fingers, Kieran Cooper. <laughs> I do, to be fair, yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? It's Good Friday as we record this. Have you had a good Friday? I have, actually, yeah. It's been, uh, I've been for a cycle. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Yeah. Any crashes? No, no, not this week. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been out in my garden. It's been quite eventful. Found two toads, uh, some centipede eggs, and a full blown. Oh, you would have loved it, Karen. A full blown ant's nest. Nice. So, because I've been pulling up paving stones, but what the ants have done is use the paving stones as like a roof. So when I've lifted it. You can see all the cavities, and it just happened to be where they keep all the like larvae. They're so, so clever, aren't they? I love that. Phil, pan Phil panic mode. Loads of ants came out, took all the larvae, and put them somewhere else. They were gone within like a minute. Amazing. Oh. Uh. Loads were weird. I found a toad's nest, which was under my paving stones. I don't know how it got there or how long it's been there, but yeah, it's been quite hot as well. Yeah, yeah, it's been nice. Summer <laughs> is coming. Just around the corner. Um, it's usually tea talk, but it's Easter weekend, so I've got like a can of cider. Do you know you have bailed <laughs> me out? <laughs> have you got a, a can of bud? That's a big one, isn't it? Yeah, it's a pint of bud. I'm oh, well. so glad you've not got a tea because I was like, I'm going to be in trouble here. I've kind of been on and off drinking cider all day, to be fair. You little maverick. <laughs> um, What's this? Raspberry, wild strawberry, and elderflower. Budweiser. <laughs> um, I guess we've got a few things to talk about. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the big one, because I've been asked by a few people, um, like friends and family, like what our post was about. <laughs> yes, I've been asked so, by a few people. So we just quickly brush by it and explain right. it I, mean, I, I don't know what, I don't know where the beginning is essentially we're from you know we're from Blackpool um yeah. although you don't currently don't live in Blackpool but there's a promotion that started in Fleetwood which is only like the next town away from Blackpool just not far at all and I was like excellent this could be good for the filed coast um and quickly they did a shout out, well, they, you know, to PTW. Well, he, he kind of cut a promo on him, didn't he? Yeah, and he's basically said that he's stealing talent, and it, it got it seemed quite personal, quite, and it wasn't like they were just doing it for a bit of publicity. It was actually real. Mm. Now, before that, I said to this guy, the, the guy from Fleetwood, I said, "Listen, we're from Blackpool, we're from Fleetwood. I want to get the first interview with you." And mm. kind of see how this is, how this has panned out, how this promotion's come about. Yeah, see how you start up a company in lockdown, sort of, because it, it would, you know, yeah. it would be interesting. But yeah, it kind of went down quite fast. But essentially, it could have been a really good promotion, and we could have had the first interview. That was mm. my logic. I was thinking merely business, and, I, and I'm an Aussie, I'm an Aussie guy, so I want to know what's going on. Anyway, so then this all happened, and long story short, it got very personal between PCW, which is a full-blown promotion. They've been running for 10 years, and they've had some massive names. Um, and they're on TV. And they're on TV, they're on Sky they know, Television. They're also very professional, they know what they're doing. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, a few things happened, and then, basically, I got a few messages saying, look... I know you've got this interview with this promotion on mm. a, on the weekend. I suggest you do not 
air the interview. Basically, yeah. it's going to be very damaging to our brand because a lot of people felt sort of cheated and um, just sort of abused by this company because there was allegations of, of a woman, of a girl as well, weren't they? Of a female mm. wrestler. Yeah. Um, so there's, there's lots to it. I know I've kind of skipped past it quite quickly, but that's the gist of it. And I said to it John... Just, there's a few said, things as, as well. He was using, like, untrained talent. And I think wrestling-wise, you need to know what you're doing. Because, say, yeah. you know, I don't know if this show's going to go ahead. It's kind of alluding to the fact it is. Um, say someone on that show that's not trained, breaks a neck... Who's going to be? Who's going to blame? They're not going to blame the promoter or anything. They're going to blame wrestling and yeah. saying it shouldn't, you know, shouldn't really be on unless it's on TV. Yeah, this isn't good. So yeah, it's not there's good that business. as well. No, yeah, and he, like we said, uh, I mean, it's just gone the wrong way about it. Yeah, um, and the thing as well with like PCW, the owner Stephen obviously felt attacked by C by this company CWE and Stephen said he's going to go down to Fleetwood and have words with him not to slap him around not not to cause injury just to say to him look you're doing it the wrong way and I think Stephen generally wanted to help him mm -hmm. um, um, I mean yeah, we, yeah. So we've got an interview with Stephen which will be on the day after this one yes we've got an interview with the owner of Motor of it, it will, well, yeah, it'll be on on Easter Sunday. Mm. So while you're eating your eggs, just have a look at an excellent interview. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> no, but it, it is a good interview. Like, I, I mean, we're huge fans of PCW and it was so interesting to see how he set it up, how he came about it, you mm. know? Yeah, it's a good insight. Again, it's a different interview from other interviews because it's kind of... I mean, we yeah, we interviewed Zach, who kind of, you know, does run his own, sort of, part runs his own wrestling company, but he was kind of like, you know, born into it, where Stephen's kind of like, been to a few wrestling shows and thought, oh, there's nowhere in the Northwest that does this, yeah. I might and have he, got this, yeah. and done it really well. He's so direct as well, because we love interviews, we, we ask a question, and then we go on about 10, 10, 15 minutes back with the answer, he was just straight to the point and was like yeah okay good <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad thing you know yeah um, um yeah so that i thought that's i mean it's quite hard to explain what's happened but that's as best as we can yeah you don't we don't um, really want to promote the company either i'm not even going to name it we don't really want to we promote the company in any way either so we're just not gonna you know who it was because we we said we were going to interview them, so. they had the show their battle at the beach at Fleetwood on the same day as mm. PCW at the Blackpool Tower, 13th of August. Yeah. Why would you have the same show on the same, uh, sorry, the same date as PCW? You're just asking for trouble. You're not going to win, are you? You're never going to win against PCW. It's as I said to you as well, he's kind of trying to set up, I get, I kind of get what he's doing. He was kind of trying to set up a rival and yeah, do that, but not on your first show. You do that kind of <laughs> when you've got a bit of fan base going and they're liking what you're doing and when you've shown people what you're all about, you don't just call someone out before you've even done a show. Yeah. And yeah. Like I said, so. we, we just want to we just want to promote a healthy because we mean we wrestling is our baby. We love it. We want to promote just a healthy wrestling British environment. Mm. And yeah. Yeah, it, it just it happened quite fast. Everything. Yeah, it was. All, it was. I was at work, but there was a yeah. lot of messages I was getting. I was like, "What is going on here? What has happened?" But yeah, it's not good. Um, but yeah, it's done. So we'll kind of move on. We'll keep on wrestling. Seeing we're in that thing, there's a few things happening in wrestling this week. Uh. I mean, one is Matt Riddle forgetting his lines. It's just a second. To that was so TV. funny because Oscar but, was like, um, <laughs> huh? but 
You see, this is the thing, isn't it, that we spoke about. Wrestlers are better when they don't have to learn lines and they can just... Yeah. But that just shows you, he, he didn't know how to just... Yeah, you forget your lines, say something else. Vince McMahon's not going to shout at you for doing another line if you forgot what you are going to say. He's probably going to shout at you if you just go, um, I've messed up, see you later. And you're on live. I've done his scooter. <laughs> um, it gave me a little... In- but with that clip, you should go and see it. It kind of gives you an insight into Matt Riddle and how good he is at playing that character because... He's not that character at all, is it? Yeah. He's proper like a... Uh, um, what's the... Is it Bill and Ted? Mm. You know, Keanu Reeves. Mm. He's like... I'm like Wayne's World. He's like, yo, dude, do you reckon they'll have scooters in Japan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then as soon as he forgets his line, he just totally comes out of it. It's like, oh, I'm not... Sorry, Oscar, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> in that video, is so funny because she's like... What if I do? And then she just awkwardly, awkwardly like laughs. Yeah. God. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what do you do? Um, another cool thing, I've just seen it just before we've came on here. You want to say Jericho? Yeah. I mean, what's happening with that? What is happening? So Austin is doing a podcast, The Brock and Skull with Jericho. On Jericho. the network. But potentially that could be a really good interview yeah I just I, I, it will be an, a good interview I've seen it because I've listened to Stone Cold's normal podcast and Jericho's been on it and I think he's been on Jericho's and they always have good conversations it'll be interesting what he's allowed to talk about or what yeah. he's even allowed to be asked but I think it's, it's how much control Stone Cold's got over that sort of show yeah I mean, it's just that's what he wants, don't he? Do you remember when Dean Ambrose was on? And he had a very, he had a go at Dean Ambrose. He was like, "I just want you to do well, but you're not, you're not doing it. Right. You've got so much potential, but you're not. You should what if there's clips of it." Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting what Jericho says. Yeah, or has said. I mean, it's already been filmed. Weirdly, they've already filmed like Hall of Fame. I've seen that. Yeah, and there's um, also I didn't get the joke. But there was a joke saying that the Hall of Fame members have stole Liverpool's outfits. Have you seen this? Are they all in white suits? Yeah, I didn't get it. Uh, when we were in an FA Cup final, um, you never, well, it's maybe a bit before your time, but when it was like Robbie Fowler, McMahon Lemon, uh, Jamie Redknapp, players like yeah. that, they were in the final, and one of them said, oh, I'll get us all suits and they got these like white suits right. to wear to the final and they were known as like the Space Boys because they were uh, right. it's that makes thing. sense <laughs> I didn't get it I was like I don't get it uh, um, I know you hate the Hall of Fame have you seen who's been inducted into the Hall of Fame wait wait no wait the Hall of Fame I get you I want the Hall of Fame because it should be people that you're never going to see wrestle again in WWE or you may not even see again in WWE. There's a couple instances with that this year because I don't think you're ever going to see RVD at WWE again. RVD definitely deserves Hall of Fame status. That's why you you want him. Yeah. Uh, The Bella Bella Twins. I get it. They did a lot for women, yeah. Yeah, you can kind of argue they were a little bit of the women's revolution. Yeah. You know, they were were definitely a piece of the jigsaw. Yeah. Because, I mean, they could actually wrestle. They didn't start as wrestlers, but yeah. Yeah. Um, So I get them. I mean, the great Kali, I don't know why. I mean, I don't know what he's brought to the... I don't know why. I don't know what the point of it is. The point is because he's Indian. Now that sounds racist, but it's not. It's because he's the he was the very first kind of Indian champion for WWE, I believe. Is that right? Mm. So WWE have kind of um, the, had that so say, Indian if, event, haven't they? If you say that in that regard, then he should be in the Hall of Fame, shouldn't he? I, I guess so, because he is the first Indian WWE champion, but he's bloody awful, isn't he? <laughs> I can't wait to hear his speech. <laughs> but, I mean... Um, who else has gone on? 
William that, Shatner. William Shatner. No, I don't understand the celebrity ones. They don't need to be in there. They bring nothing is, to the table. Why is he in? Why did they bring any celebrities in? Why? Why know. are you bringing Snoop Dogg as a... Or, you know, the Arnold Schwarzenegger's in there. and Because Donald what Trump's in there. Has, what has Arnold Schwarzenegger... I absolutely love Arnold. I absolutely love him. I, his films are amazing. Commando, you know, True Lies, whatever. I love it, right? But what has he done for the wrestling business? Exactly. The Hall of Fame should be people that have... Do you know who isn't? I know, I was gonna a do big this, moment in wrestling, but... I was going to do this properly, but... I, will, I probably would. I'm going to research who isn't in the Hall of Fame. But do you know so far who have got Vader isn't in the Hall of Fame? Yeah, he's not. I don't know Vader, why. He, he kind of just, fell out with the WWE. Can we stop and think about that for a second? Hmm. Vader's not in the Hall of Fame. Now think who is in the Hall of Fame. I'll leave that with you. That's all I need to say. You know who's going to be in the Hall of Fame next year, celebrity? Bad. Oh, don't, don't, don't even say. If it begins with B, I don't want to know. It will be, though, won't it? He'll be in there. Honestly, I, do you remember the <laughs> program Dinosaurs on Disney Channel? Yeah. Now, there was, a, there was a TV show that they used to watch on the program called Swimming About Cops. Do you remember it? Yeah. And then so when, the cop gets really, when the cop gets really, really angry, his head explodes. Right. Do you remember that? <laughs> it's like, yeah. The dinosaurs used to watch the program. Anyway, that's what I feel like. When I think about Hall of Fame, I, I feel like just my head exploding. Why the hell is Bad Bunny at WrestleMania? Have we spoke about this? You need a celebrity. I don't know who he is. And fair enough, I'm not down with all the, all the music, but whatever. No but one knew. I know no one... Guaranteed no one watching wrestling knew who he was unless you're from like Mexico or somewhere. I know Drake, I know plenty of rappers, you know. <laughs> I know Rock and Bowl Man, but Bad Bunny. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty poor choice, isn't it? You think about the celebrities we've had in WWE in the past Lim Biscuit with Fred Durst, mm. Motorhead, um, Drowning Pool. Mm. Even Drew Carey. <laughs> Even he was funny compared to Bad Bunny. Yeah. It was be an interesting match. Because you know Miz is good. Will it be an interesting match? Well, it's just how good is Bad Bunny? You don't know. It might surprise you. No. No, he won't. Uh, what matches are on? Uh, what ones have been announced? you got Miz and Bad Bunny. you got Roman Reigns, uh, Daniel Bryan and Edge. Yeah. 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 Which, I mean, Roman Reigns is main event every year. Why? He's the John Cena of now, isn't he? This is the thing. He's probably going to win again. And we're not meant to like it because he's a heel. And I won't like it anyway because it's Roman Reigns. <laughs> Do you reckon there's going to be any surprises? Anyone turning up? Well, who's not been on in a while? Charlotte Flair. Well, it's a bit Brock Lesnar. Charlotte, Charlotte Flair at the minute is a bit, we're not so sure what's happening. Well, she had COVID, didn't she? Hmm. She fell out know. with him, though, about the storyline with Ric Flair. They just weren't happy about it. Yeah. I mean, would you be happy with that? No, it's a weird one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um... I don't know. I hope there's a surprise. It's been a while since we've had a surprise at WrestleMania. Yeah. It's usually the night after, isn't it? Don't know. Yeah. Um, what else have you been up to? Just so, um, No, my friend's son, Daniel. Mm. I don't know how old he is. He's young, anyway. Ten? Hmm. Anyway, he said to me, um, you're like a YouTuber, aren't you? I went, I use that that word very loosely, but go on. He went, well, I want to make a, a YouTube channel, but I don't know what to do it about. And he wants to do it about gaming. And I mm. said, look, there's so many different uh, YouTube channels about gaming. 
need to stand out. Now, his dad, Sam, has a, a falcon and a, and a dog. So he pays this farmer some money. Ah, yeah, sorry. It's just yeah. saying, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he, he pays this farmer some money to go on his land and mm -hmm. they get the dog to, you know, get the birds to fly up. And then the falcon comes and like kill you know you know gets the birds right i see and mm. he has all these different like hunting birds and i don't know it's all like emmerdale kind of stuff i don't know anyway <laughs> so they know a lot about birds and a lot of like they have like a lot, a lot of chicks and stuff mm -hmm. i said to daniel so why don't you do a youtube channel about about animals facts with animals because no no one around your age probably does that so we was talking for ages and he's going to do a, an animal YouTube channel. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I, I love animal facts, to be fair. Yeah. He's, he's really clever as well, especially with animals, because he grew up with his dad and stuff. Like he, mm. Yeah. So. Well, that's just pretty good. You're going to be that's a guest. Helping. Yeah. So I was helping him. <laughs> just, um, he's, tell you what, though, he's got a good camera. His mum bought him one. And it's like a proper setup with a microphone and everything. Ooh. That's a bit jealous. <laughs> yeah. um, is Easter? Are you doing it for free Easter? Uh, well, I've got my daughter some eggs, and then I've got Molly, my fiance, some eggs. Um, Spoiler that. Yeah, <laughs> I might hide them around the house and you know, under like a riddle. Uh, yeah, I've done that before, like an egg hunt. Yeah. That's great fun to do. Well, I mean, I would do it easy for my daughter, but for Molly, I might do it really hard. <laughs> um, you were saying to me during the week that Easter isn't as good as it used to be. <laughs> no. So when I was a kid, we never really got chocolate. Mm. We, we weren't poor, but we weren't, you know, well off. We were just like a normal family. And chocolate... for everyone, though, sorry. Wasn't like chocolate more expensive than it is now? It wasn't like something you would spend money on. All yeah, the time. we we only got chocolate as a treat. So when Easter came around, had these big eggs. I mean, obviously they look big when you were a kid, and mm. I, I was like, oh my god, there's an egg for me. I was so excited, and you mm -hmm. get the egg and there's Smarties, or whatever inside. Mm. But now I think back at it. Uh, well, now I think back at what Emily, my daughter, has. She has chocolate all the bloody time. I give her thing. this, I give her that. So when I give her an egg, she's like, oh, thank you. And she's grateful. But when I receive an egg... It, it's, not, it's not that, like, exciting, excitement. Yeah. Like, did you believe in the Easter Bunny and stuff like no, that? No, ne I never, ever believed you in You must that. have done it at one point. No, my, my mum never told us about the Easter Bunny. Mm, we that wasn't, that was we, Obviously, my mum told us about Santa and the Tooth Fairy, or the Easter Bunny. She never entertained <laughs> it. That was just... One one step too far, was it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I know what I know what you mean. But do you not feel as an adult, even getting presents is a bit like, oh, I could have bought them. I, I yeah. love getting presents when it's something I wouldn't think of buying for myself, or it's yeah, something yeah. I'm like, I love getting handmade stuff. You know, stuff that. So get myself necessary. Yeah, necessary. Molly got me just before lockdown. Obviously, we haven't been because of lockdown, but she's got me a tour of the most beautiful, sexiest place in Manchester, the Etihad Stadium. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to do a tour of the Etihad. That's now, cool. I've been to Etihad a few times, but I've never done mm. a tour of that everything. So that I've never ever think about doing that. And she's got me that and I was I was so happy, but then obviously lockdown happened. Yeah. I'm due to go around Anfield as well. I bought it my mum for a birthday. My mum's a big Liverpool fan as well. Uh, she get it in the in the you get to get in the paper for it. <laughs> no, funny enough, there's a waiting list to go on our talk here. <laughs> no, there isn't. <laughs> there's not a waiting list, is there? <laughs> there has to be a season ticket holder. <laughs> you can get one. Man City pretty easy, can't you? Yeah, you've... <laughs> have you yeah. seen it where I was going? Don't you have like boxing day sales for season tickets? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um I've been to the Etihad. I went to see the Space Girls there. 
It's, it's nice, it's, isn't it? It's not bad stadium, yeah. Can I just say that you went to the bicycles with your missus? Mm-hmm. Well, that's yeah. what everyone to know. You know <laughs> just some fan of Spice Girls. Yeah, she. I oh, she bought. No, she bought me it for Christmas. <laughs> this is my present. Brilliant. Okay. Was um, they, were, they were big when I was little. <laughs> okay, I'll skip past that. Um, actually, oh. speaking of which, who's your favorite Spice Girl? Sporty Spice. Mel C. One hundred percent. Best singer. She's a Liverpool yeah. fan. Singer. That's the one I was looking for. <laughs> uh, I turn to you. <laughs> oh, I like that. that. I used to love that album, you know. Mm. <laughs> anyway, you think I'm going to be embarrassed, Kieran, but I'm not embarrassed. I like the Space Girls, so shit, man. <laughs> uh-huh. um, um, anyway, Aguero's leaving. Yeah, so I've seen. That's sad, that, isn't it? It's, I mean, I've seen it coming, but it's... it's... Yeah. You know, he's on a statue outside the Etihad. I don't know. It's, it's, do you not think that's a bit... No. And I'll tell you why for John. Do you know we tried the same in before years? Yeah, but you didn't know, did you? Because he's a Liverpool fan, isn't he? No, he isn't. He is. No, he isn't. Google it. Google it. Don't like John. Google don't it. No, I don't me, like Google, Google it. it. Because you know it's true. Google it. Google it. We anyway. tried to say him the same time we say Suarez. Can you imagine him and Suarez up front? What we don't like. So, <laughs> I'm saying I've lost my train of thought because you're saying... Amazing he's again. He's, he's free agent. Yes. He? So, Aguero <laughs> has more goals than Rooney, but less mm. appearances. I can imagine that. That's it's good going, that, isn't it? He has, he's an amazing goal scorer. No Champions League, though, has he? Not sure. I knew you were going to Well, no, he could win it. You could win it this year. Doubt it, but... I might do. <laughs> I need the quadruple. I don't know, you know. Do you not think football is a lot harder now than it used to be? Yeah, I mean, I think we'll definitely win the FA Cup. That's easy. Who have you got? Um, do you know what? I can't remember. Have you got Southampton? Was that the other way? No, the other have you got Chelsea? Yeah, I think, I think I'm sure we do. But there's not. I can't help. Yeah, um, Premier League, obviously, we'll do. Yeah. Champions League, that's that's the tough people. I think I just don't understand why you can never do well in the Champions League. I don't get it. Says a person that's won it once in like 50 years. What Champions League you won it twice in the last 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's it. That's it for you. <laughs> Look at Liverpool now. They've had to spell, and that's it. They, they're we're still in the, well, we're still in the Champions League. People are saying to get a uh, cop out, aren't they? Who? I've seen, no, because <laughs> you've had a few losses. I've seen a lot of people try, like, saying, right, that's it, He's, he needs to be gone. I don't think he'd be a Liverpool fan. Not a real one. <laughs> well, you've got plan for Easter Monday. I mean, is it weird for you? Because you're on furlough, so you just kind of... This bank holiday means nothing to you. Exactly. Must be strange. It's meant to snow Monday. It won't, it won't snow. Monday, Tuesday, apparently. Snowed the other yeah, day here. Did it? Mm, only for like a few minutes. And it started huh. raining all day. But yeah, we had snow. Huh, <laughs> not it's been, uh, it's been really nice here. It's been really sunny. Oh, this was like last week, maybe the week before. Hmm. How long till WrestleMania? Nine days, is that or something? Eight days, I believe. It's too, I, don't, I don't know how I feel about it. I know. I'm not that excited. I usually am like looking forward to it, but. 
to when it comes to like two days before, like you might be a bit more pumped, I suppose. Yeah, I need to kind of catch up a little bit. Yeah. So watching that. Have you seen the highlights program on Channel Five? No. Well, for that, for SmackDown. For SmackDown and Raw, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know it was on there, so I've been watching yeah. that. Yeah, I have it, Series Link. It's better to cut the three hours down, isn't it? So. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm so tired. I think, honestly, I think I've got it because of the sun. Yeah. And because I was drinking in the sun this afternoon, I think I've just. You like. like... <laughs> You're bright red as well, do you know? I know. I catch the sun very quickly. <laughs> my, my freckles kind of merge into one. Mm. And I get more freckles come out as well. Mm. You've been watching South Park, haven't you? I have. I never, I've, I've never really watched South Park. I mean, I've seen a few episodes here and there, but I never really actually really watched it. And then you told me about the Steve Irwin episode, which I had to watch because it sounded so funny. So mm. I watched that, and then I just picked like a random season, like series nine, to continue from. And I was watching one about the Naggers, uh, <laughs> where he's on the game show, and, he said, and the the answer is Naggers. People yeah. like then I watched one about where they had a drone and then they spied on someone's mum with a, with a bush mm. that was quite yeah. funny <laughs> um, yeah this, they are always pretty funny they've got a couple of like pandemic episodes they've done I believe so yeah yeah um, but yeah I watched watch. the one where they have nits or lice I love that one like uh, Lace Capades, that episode's yeah. called. It's like Day After Tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so funny. It, it's how back is, it is quite funny to be fair. I, if you give it a, a chance, you realise how clever and funny it yeah. is. Um, have you watched the wrestling one yet? Yeah, yeah, I watched that one, the one that you sent me. And then Vincent <laughs> Man comes down. So funny. That's not wrestling, like the coach. Yeah. Yeah, it was, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, nothing else much been happening. We say that every week. I know. Uh, we've got Marcus's Marcus Nelson's interview to watch. Yeah, so Marcus is a wrestler with autism, and it's actually mad what he was saying. Like he said, people said to him, "You will not be a wrestler. Give it up." Essentially. Mm. Um. And to, I mean, he admitted himself, he had a lot of anger issues. Yeah. Um, and wrestling essentially saved him because his mum was think, begging. I think it does for a few people, doesn't it? Yeah. But it's, it's a good story. And he also talks about trains and about his mini collection. He's got um, a, and a classic car mini. Mm. It's not into drive, isn't it? I also um, um, went back and watched because we were talking about the Italian job and I did my Michael Caine impression. <laughs> and I went back and I thought, oh my God, that's such a bad Michael Caine impression. I can't do Michael Caine. It's like, you He was only meant to blow the bloody doors <laughs> off. <laughs> do you ever watch The Trip with, um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, Rob Braden and Steve Coogan are in The Trip and they do like impressions of celebrities. Mm. They do Michael Caine in that. Yeah. And you've got a kind of, do your mouth quite small, like, you're, you're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. That was good. Like that. <laughs> that was good. I've never done that before. <laughs> that, that was really good. I'm impressed. Did you try it? <laughs> no, because I'll sound Australian or Indian. Go on. Or... I'll go on. I did it. <laughs> Make your mouth oh. small. God. <laughs> 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 you was only meant to blow the gun. I can't. I can't do it. Oh my god! You was only meant to blow the bloody doors off. My name is Michael Kine. <laughs> that's good. That's Not good. a lot of people know that. It's like that. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Um, I wish I could do impressions. It's hard. Can you do any impressions? Um, well, I do want to Emily, my daughter, all the time, but it's not good, but I do it all the time. God. See if you can guess it. Teddy. 
Tedder. <laughs> a bean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Name, please. <laughs> bean. Bean. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not good. But that's what I do. Mm. Can't do any of this. I can think of. Mm, no. All right then. Do you want to do all the subscribe thing? <laughs> yes. Thank you for watching. Um, no. <laughs> uh, no, no, thank you for watching. Um, we really do appreciate it. Um, we're getting a lot of likes, a lot of comments, a lot of really nice words about you know us and John's Scottish heritage, which we appreciate. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, thank you for supporting us. <laughs> I think you say Scottish heritage every episode. <laughs> I, I try to, yeah. Um, so, you know, yeah, please give us a like, give us a subscribe, give us a comment, message us, say hello, you know, ask about John's kilt and why ask he likes his nice kills. Who's your favourite space girl? Mel C. Yeah. yeah. No, I thought you might went with Jerry. What, because Ginger? Ginger space. No, Mel C. Well, you know, we, you all like to stick together, don't you? Yeah, all hail to the pale. <laughs> What's your favourite Space Girl song? Oh, that's a tough one, that. Um, I don't know. Because you like them all? Yeah, because like, that's absolutely the <laughs> reason, yeah. Well, let's see, you'll be there. With the good music video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, give us a like and subscribe. Uh, the PCW interviews on tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Check it out. Marcus one's on now. It's goodbye from Kieran. It's goodbye from John. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>